What's up guys today? I'm going to go through the viral launch Chrome extension and show you guys some different kind of hacks or ways to use it or ways to analyze and look at the data that a lot of people kind of miss including myself until I really started digging into this. Okay, so in order to kind of use the viral launch Chrome extension, you need to get it. Okay, so um, the viral launch Chrome extension is included here at the beginner research kit. So that's why I'd recommend you don't need, um, unless, unless you want to, uh, need more of these expensive packages um, and get the most basic and the Chrome extension is included in, with that. Also, because I love Viral Launch and because of that, I am a, an affiliate of Viral Launch. I have an affiliate link below where you get 15% off. So it helps you. It helps me. Um, you don't have to use it at all. Just throwing that out there. Okay. So, um, so yeah, I've included that in the description below and you'll just have to get that. Once you get it, create your account. And then you'll be able to use it. And there's kind of a step by step process. Okay. So once you get access to the viral launch Chrome extension, it'll show up here. Okay. Um, in the top right corner of your uh, Chrome extension, kind of your Chrome toolbar. And how you want to use it, okay, is you want to go to Amazon and you'll type in a particular product or product, you know, keywords for a particular product that you want to look at. Now, um, there are a few ways to use the tool. So I'm not going to get this isn't a product research video specifically, but again, the tool is for product research. So when using the tool, what I recommend doing is try to find what is the shortest title that you can type into Amazon's uh, search bar to get um, results that relate to your products, right? So in this case, we have like grass slipper. This would probably for in this case be the most similar for this grass slipper here. But as we can also see, there's just a lot of other slipper options as well. And my guess is, is just because there's a lack of, um, of, of sellers selling green slipper. But let's just say we type, you know, we don't want to type in slipper because that's going to give us all kinds of results. Basically think about what is the shortest thing that you can type into Amazon and get the most similar results. Okay. So, but I, there's a reason I chose slippers for an example. So, um, that's just a tip type it in. And this is what I call the product category page. So it shows, um, the category of grass slipper products on Amazon. Once you have this loaded, go ahead and click on the viral launch Chrome extension icon. And this is going to kind of load up here. So, and I put, chose this example for a reason. So up here, to start off at the top, we have the product idea score. Okay. I'm trying to think how to describe this correctly. The product idea score, just because it's, there's a four or four and a half or a five star does not mean it's a good product. I rarely look at the product idea score. It's completely useless to me, honestly. And a lot of people, a lot of new sellers, especially get tripped up. Don't, I don't care about this. I don't use it. Okay. I like to look at other data and other numbers and, and validate it with, 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 with other, you know, other tools as well. Um, now I will say I've never, ever sourced a product that was one or two stars. It's always, I, I there might've been a time. I can't remember that it was like three and a half stars. So in general, the products that I do, so it's kind of like the square in a rectangle. If you've ever heard of that analogy, how like a, you know, a, a rectangle is a square, but a square isn't a rectangle. If I have that correctly. Yes, I believe so. Anyway. Um, so, um, just because something has four or five stars on the product idea score doesn't mean it's good, but if it does have one, two or three stars, it probably does mean that it's bad. Okay. Um, that's a way of thinking about it. But then also products that I have found, um, that, that, I, that I, that are good opportunities tend to have four or five stars as well. Right. Just so be, don't rely on this. Um, but it could be good to kind of glance at, but again, I, I think I went too much detail. So over here we have, we can actually look at the total kind of key, estimated search volume. I use Helium 10 and seller tools for all my keyword research. Um, so I don't really use this tool. Uh, and you would, it, with the most basic version, which is what I have right now, which is all I need, you will not get access to the keyword research tool. You'd have to upgrade to their, um, more of the more like premium subscriptions to get access. Um, but honestly, like I said, I use other tools for keyword research, so I don't need that, but that's where you would see kind of total, um, search, uh, keyword search volume, which is really helpful to know if there's demand for a specific product going in. This is, uh, this section here, which is the default is the most commonly used, but I'm going to show you some other, um, tabs here that a lot of other, uh, uh, Chrome extensions do not have other product research tools do not have. And that kind of sets viral launch apart. So by default, we've organized, uh, the results by page rank, but you can organize by any of these, uh, row or any of these columns here. This track column is literally brand, brand new, like brand new. I, as I was making, this is brand new. I'm not exactly sure the use of this. I don't really know if I'm going to be using it, but, um, I will, once I really kind of figure out the best way to use the tracking tool here, which is again, brand new, I'm going to update the description below. Okay. So you'll, you'll know what that is, but, um, but yeah, so we have the brand title, pretty straightforward. What I like to look at. So over here you have BSR. So anything that's highlighted in orange, you can actually click on and see graphs. So I'll just click on the BSR here. 
so for a specific ace or specific product you can see the bsr obviously um change over time is it increasing is it decreasing and this is really great to see as well um are the majority of this type of products in this category are they overall all increasing or if they're all overall decreasing that could be a sign that there might be a loss of interest in this um, category as an example it doesn't mean that but that's just so potentially something to look at right um so so yeah mo estimated monthly revenue highly accurate from what i found this is one of the most accurate tools out there in my opinion i've i've tested this with my own products aside with other products and viral launch is um for my products at least and based on my research um the most accurate so um yeah so that's just throwing that out there it's part of the reason i use it and one tool i really like is actually up here i kind of uh didn't click over this very 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 important a lot of sellers don't use this this is um in my opinion because i'm very visual helps me in my product research and save a lot of time okay so we go ahead and click images and i should if i scroll over here there we go so and this is why i chose this example specifically okay what you can do with images right as you can see okay the this is the this is the product that i'm interested in. this is the type of product right grass slipper grass slipper grass slipper okay okay and then we get down here to just other slippers right and other not even slippers right just rent crocs and random other crap whatever this is so we want to make sure that when we're analyzing a category that we're only looking at the very specific product that we're interested in obviously not copying them but um that you know the type of category that we're interested in and um, this is re the the um, icon up here is really uh, helpful to do that. So I'm going to leave that on. And you can even switch around. Like you can kind of put this, you know, more over here. Let's see if that. It, it might take a second to load, but you can reorganize the um, columns. So you can kind of like drag drag some over. Um, I think it might be taking a second to load. So yep, there we go. Uh, keep scrolling over here. So monthly revenue, very important. I use this column a lot scrolling over uh monthly sales another really great column monthly sales can be really um, helpful in determining how much to order um, and reorder review quantity something you can kind of look at but it's good to kind of organize this uh, you can see it for yourself just on the on the page fulfillment this is really interesting if you see an entire category fulfilled by merchant that could raise a red flag to me like why are they all fbm like not fba right so it's just interesting to kind of look through here but a lot are fba a fewer fbm um just something else to look at uh yeah and those are the main that i look to look at but there's more columns over here these are the majority of the columns that i like and i like the image um and again you can look at price trends and things like that over time as well okay so this is the uh the main uh tab here we also have detailed statistics i don't use this too much but it is helpful so it just kind of snapshots of like top five top ten uh listings you know page one so you know if you if you're expecting hey i'm gonna launch a product and i'm going to be the top seller then you know how many you know sales average sales you need to make um and you know you can estimate revenue and things like that as well again i don't use it as much but it can be really great to just know what are our top competitors doing um in terms of sales uh revenue all that okay so so that's the detailed statistics over here in the market trends category this is really great this is one of the reasons i really like um viral launch okay so the best other tool in my opinion that we have are google trends and we kind of use google trends to guess like is is this category overall increasing is it decreasing but viral launch is going to give us data for amazon sales specifically not google search volume but actual amazon sales so this is very important what i recommend doing is typing in several related so for example there's grass slipper there could be like green fuzzy slipper maybe i don't know this is a weird product so it's a little bit tougher but try to find multiple different uh, key phrases or keywords that relate to your product um you know type them into you know type them into the amazon search bar load viral launch chrome extension and see or like all these different keywords that uh customers are typing in the overall trend is it increasing is it decreasing or staying about the same so this would be a good sign right the overall trend seems to be increasing right um over here and it can kind of show us as well when does this product sell best right at least within the last um period when does it sell best or when does it sell lowest and that can kind of help you know oh the data that i'm looking at is actually really kind of um it's, it's like a bubble right it's like it's in its highest selling period so maybe i needed to like not order as many as i thought um or you may think you know that it, if it's seasonal do you want to enter in at a lower point so this is super helpful this is one of the one of the biggest reasons why i use or one of the reasons i use the um, viral launch chrome extension yeah like i said best selling period all that um rate of reviews also good to know just the general kind of how can you know I like to look at competition one of the ways i look at competition is the is the rate at which my competitors are getting reviews right the higher uh they're getting reviews I, the more competitive i know it is the lower it just shows me they don't really know what they're doing they don't probably have a lot of follow-up emails you know they don't have a very good product insert um and, and other things like that right 
So um, yeah, that's just kind of how I look at it. And you're gonna look at you know price over time, right? You don't want to get into a market that's uh, the price is just going down and the people are just kind of price war. But even so, um, you know you can still come in as you should still always have the mindset of coming in as the premium brand or the premium product. Um, but this is this is the main graph that I look at. Also, the last two just kind of finish things up. VL analysis, another really great tool specifically here for the tips and warnings. And so, for example, sales are erratic. This may, sales are erratic may not be a good search. And they're right. Think about it. The search that we have only has a few products relating to our, um, to, you know, to, to what we're interested in, these, gla these grass slippers. And there's all these other options that are totally unrelated. So they know that the, the algorithm that they have can kind of detect that. So I've, I've had a lot of great tips that have come out of this. This is a really great place to look. Um, and it's, again, it's not just like, you know, don't just take it as gospel. It's, it's really great to kind of, you know, learn it and then see, okay, why is that the case? Or why is viral launch thinking that? Okay. So I really like looking at this here. And then there's just kind of a summary of, you know, sales pattern. You want to ultimately see either typical or kind of increasing, uh, you know, reviews need to sell. Well, I don't really look at this too much. I have my own criteria, uh, possible monthly sales. Again, don't really look at that. And then finally cost calculator, a lot of tools have this. So not super, um, not something that really differentiates them, but can be uh, obviously very useful and very easy to use. You just wanna make sure that you enter in your information. Don't just say, don't just look at this and say, oh, the average seller makes $8.41 in profit. Do, it's, I found this is completely inaccurate until you actually enter in and edit the, you know, edit dimensions, uh, edit all this information here, right? So you wanna make sure that you enter in all the information that you um, know and are aware of, and then it becomes accurate. And, um, and yeah. Those are kind of the four sections of the viral launch Chrome extension. Like I said, I have an affiliate link below really help me out and ultimately help you out. Get you 50%, 15% off. Um, viral launch is between viral launch and helium 10. These are my favorite product research tools specifically super powerful. I found several, um, winning products that have generated tens of thousands of dollars on Amazon. So, um, so yeah, very, very powerful. Um, these tools work very accurate and, um, and yeah, if you have any questions, let me comment below. And also, if you found the video helpful, it really helps me out if you hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Um, really helps me out. And also, if there's something that I missed or anything you'd like to add, any kind of tactics or strategy, let the community know by uh, commenting below and joining our Facebook group um, and just help everyone else out. So I really appreciate watching. I hope you find this helpful and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.